Welcome. This video explains the H-parameter analysis of BJT. The objective of this presentation lies here to define an hybrid parameter model for a two-port network and to apply the concept of H-parameter to define a BJT amplifier. In general, we are considering a two-port network with the two accessible terminals where the measurable quantities are V1 I1 referring to the input side and V2 I2 referring to the output side. And the parameters within this two port network remains unknown. For this two port network, we can characterize in terms of the hybrid parameters by using the four measurable parameters at the input side and the output side. So, using the hybrid parameters, we can define the two port network as the input voltage V1 is equal to H11 I1 plus H12 V2 and the output current I2 is given by H21 I1 plus H22 V2. So here the parameters H11, H12, H21, H22 are described as the hybrid parameters, in short, the H parameters of the two port network. The parameters of this two port network are defined by considering short circuiting the output side and open circuiting the input side. Okay. By short circuiting the output side, we have your V2 is equal to 0. If V2 is equal to 0, when it is applied to the characteristic equation of the hybrid model, we get V1 is equal to H11 I1 from which the H11 can be defined as V1 over I1 where V1 is the driving point voltage and I1 is the driving point current that is V by I characterized as the input impedance ZI of the two port network. And applying to the second equation, we have I2 is equal to H21 I1 from which the parameter H21 is defined as I2 divided by I1 that refers to the forward current gain AI of the network. And similarly, with I1 to be equal to 0, we have V1 is equal to H12 V2 from which H12 is defined as V1 divided by V2, which is the ratio of input voltage to the output voltage and it is referred to the reverse voltage gain ARV of the network. And the second equation given, given by H2 is equal to I2 is equal to H22 V2 where your H22 is defined as I2 divided by V2 which is corresponding to the admittance measured from the output side. So it is characterized that the output admittance of the network. So if you see the parameters H11, H21, H12, H22, all the four parameters describes four different uh, possible uh, parameters of the two port network that is the input impedance forward current gain reverse voltage gain and the output admittance so again we can characterize this equation this can be considered as an kvl equation and this can be considered as an kcl equation so with this we can derive a model for the two port network. So the first equation which characterizes the input that is V1 is equal to H11 I1 plus H12 V2 can be represented as in a series combination of a resistance of magnitude H11 and a dependent voltage source of magnitude H12 into V0. 
or V2. And similarly, if you take the second equation, that is I2 is equal to H22 V2 and plus H21 I1 can be represented as a parallel combination of a dependent current source and the resistance are connected across your output terminal. Now, if you see this, the input side is equivalent to the Thevenin equivalent and output side it's equivalent to an Norton's equivalent circuit, right? And these two inputs uh, that in these two equivalent circuits are combined with respect to the common node or the common terminal. So, an H parameter network in turn can be represented as VIII as the input and the input side it is characterized by the Thevenin equivalent circuit where HI is nothing but H11 it defines the input resistance of the two port network and H12 is the reverse voltage gain which is represented as HR in the equivalent circuit and H21 which is a forward current gain which is referred to HF into II the input current and H22 is the output admittance which is referred to H0 in this equivalent circuit. So, for this two port network with unknown parameters contained in the network with four measurable variables at the input side and the output side can be represented with an equivalent circuit like this. So, now these four parameters HI, HR, HF, H0 is sufficient to characterize the functionality of this two-port two network under any operating condition. This two-port network and this hybrid parameter model, the H parameter model can easily be applied to a, a three-terminal semiconductor devices like your BJT, FET, etc. So, if you take the BJT out of three-terminal, when it is put into work as an in, uh, amplifier, one terminal is going to be common to both input and output. So, you can have a similar structure. You can see here, this is going to be the common line when we are going to have it in the H parameter model. So, the, your transistor can be represented by its equivalent hybrid parameter model. So, you can see here. I am considering the BJT in CE configuration, common emitter configuration where the input terminals are B and E that is base and emitter and output is taken across the collector and emitter. So, VCE forms output voltage, VBE forms the input voltage. Now, I can replace this transistor or I can represent this transistor in terms of its uh, the model, uh, the hybrid parameter model what we described just now. So, here I am considering IB is the base, HIE as the input impedance and E suffix in the E indicates it is for the common emitter configuration and here for the common emitter configuration uh, HRE is the reverse voltage gain and uh, V0 the output voltage is your VCE. So, I am representing here the VCE and similarly the forward current gain HF E multiplied by the input current is IB. So, I have HFE IB as the value of the controlled current source and the output admittance HO under common emitter configuration it is E. Right? And you can see this plus and minus is combined and it is connected uh, represent, and it is combinedly representing the emitter terminal of your BJT. So, with the parameters remains unchanged, this is the equivalent hybrid equi uh, hybrid model of an BJT under common emitter configuration. Now, the comment is on the reverse voltage gain and the HOE. If you see the reverse voltage gain, that is the over VCE divided, uh, VBE divided by VCE. If you take this magnitude, it is nearly equal to 0. So, I can replace this input and dependent voltage source HRE VCE to be an equivalent to a short circuit. Okay, 
and similarly on the output side if i consider the hoe that is the output admittance now the output admittance if i calculate that the um, uh, equivalent resistance the value of hoe in terms of resistance is going to be very high in parallel we are going to connect a, a resistor at the output right so when compared to the value of resistance the value of 1 divided by hoe is far high so that even if we remove this hoe is not going to significantly affect our analysis or the performance of the amplifier so in that sense we are replacing the input dependent voltage source to, to be an equivalent short circuit and the hoe is considered to be an open circuit right so with this we can approximate the uh, hybrid equivalent model of the bjt as like in this figure so uh, in the input side i have only the input impedance hi and in the output side i have only the uh, dependent current source hf into ii okay and uh, this hoe is uh, can be neglected because its value is uh, negligible when compared to that of the load resistance whatever we are connecting externally okay so we are going to apply this approximation to the common emitter configuration whereas my hie is nothing but the input impedance of the amplifier under common emitter it is equivalent to the beta re okay it is equivalent to beta re and similarly in the output side if you see that hfe ib the dependent current source the current gain is nothing but the ratio of ic to ib which is nothing but beta okay that is your ac gain beta ib now with this your hybrid model that hybrid model of the transistor is matching with the re model of the transistor the only difference what we have is in re in re model we have this r naught resistance which is now neglected in this h parameter and why we go for this h parameter model of bjt is in case of re model we can represent only the input resistance and the output resistance but not all the parameters in the given share data sheet can be accommodated whereas in case of h parameter in the very beginning the definition your h parameter model is going to give you an equivalent circuit that can be applied to any of the operating condition right so in that way it is your h parameter model is much more influential in the analysis of your amplifiers right so in that sense we have your hybrid model which is then approximated an re model of the transistor which can be applied to any operating condition and it is going to define all the parameters that are present in the data sheet of a transistor like the input impedance forward current gain reverse voltage gain and the output <coughs> output admittance of your bjt thank you